Hello guys. Today we are going to read Stargazers by Gail Gibbons. This is a book about people that look at the stars at nighttime. Not long after the sun sets, the sky becomes darker and darker. On clear nights, points of light begin to appear in the sky. These points of lights are stars. Stars give off heat and light because of their hot gases, which make stars shine. Stargazers are people who watch the night sky. Some stargazers are called astronomers. Astronomers know a lot about stars. Some stars are bigger, some are smaller, most stars are very large. The sun is a yellow star. It is over a million times larger than our planet Earth. All the other stars in the night sky look tiny because they are so much farther away. Stars are so far away from Earth that their distances are measured in light years, not miles. The sun is eight light minutes from us. The next star is four light years away. Some stars are billions of light years away. Some stars look brighter than others. Also, stars are different colors. Some look red, some are yellow, and others look white. The cooler stars are red, the warmer stars are yellow, and the hotter stars are bluish white. Stars look like they twinkle, too. This is because of the air around Earth called the atmosphere. As starlight travels through the atmosphere, it makes some stars look like they are twinkling. During the night, the stars move across the sky from east to west. This is because the planet Earth turns slowly from west to east. The stars rise and set just like the sun does. During the year, stargazers see different stars in the night. There are stars in the sky during the day, too. They can't be seen because of the bright sunlight. The Milky Way seems milky because it looks like a white, cloudy band across the sky. It is made up of separate stars, too many to count. They blend together because they are very dim and are very, very far away. Long ago, people thought certain groups of bright stars, stars, stars formed outlines of people, animals, or things in the sky. They gave them names. These star groups are called constellations. Some of the names sound strange. They came down from the Romans who spoke Latin. So here you can see a uh, constellation of the animal. Today's stargazers and astronomers still use these old names. The Big Dipper is the pattern of the constellation of Ursa Major or the Great Bear. Nearby is the Little Dipper. The star at the end of the Little Dipper's handle is the North Star. The North Star has been used to guide people on their journeys for hundreds of years. There are 88 constellations. Some of them are seen at different times of the year. Stargazers and astronomers can locate the stars and constellations in the sky by looking at star charts. Star charts are maps of the sky. Sometimes it may take time and patience to find a special star or constellation. About 2,000 stars can be seen while looking up at the sky on a clear, dark night. Some stargazers use a pair of binoculars to get a better look at a star or a small group of stars. Other stargazers and astronomers gaze through telescopes. So this is a telescope. They are able to see some stars clearer and also other stars that are too far away to be seen with eyes alone. So here is a refracting telescope and a reflecting telescope. Two different types of telescopes. Some telescopes are huge. They are in observatories where astronomers study the skies. 
Most telescopes can take pictures that astronomers can study later. They are always making new discoveries. People can go to a planetarium to find out about stars. They sit in a circular room, the lights dim, and everyone looks up. A special machine shows the motion of the stars and planets on the domed ceiling. What a beautiful sight. The planetarium director explains what and where the different stars, constellations, and planets are. At night, the sky sparkles with thousands of stars. The more you study the stars and constellation, the more you will learn. It is fun to be a stargazer. There is some history about stargazing, and that is the end of our book, guys.